day two of our look at projections for Mets players for the 2019 season. Yesterday we kicked things off with Darno and we continue with catchers on the 40-man with Tomas Nito, who right now looks to have the least amount of major league playing time out of the three catchers on the roster. With Darno and Pulawecki out for chunks of last year, Nito got some playing time, but couldn't take advantage of it, especially once the Mets traded for Mezzarago and Pulawecki got healthy. 2018 to 90 PA, 84 AB, 1 HR, 0 0.167, 0 0.200, 0 0.238, minus 0 0.5 war, 58 DRC career, 0 0.181, 0 0.210, 0 0.255, 61 DRC. That being said, there are worse depth options than Tomas Nito. Remember last year when the Mets went through a Jose Lobaton phase? Not fun. Here's what BP, ESPN, Zips, Steamer and BR think Tomas will do, citations, Baseball Prospectus BP, projections are from the Baseball Prospectus Annual which can you can get here. It's highly recommended. ESPN projections can be found here. Zips can be found here. Steamer can be found here. Baseball reference projections BR can found on the player's BR page which linked elsewhere on this article. Yesterday we saw Darno with the projected .704 ops, which is basically average emphasized by his 99 DRC. Nito is projected to post an ops about 90 points lower, a DRC of 91 or 9% worse than the average hitter. Considering his career DRC so far of 61, 39% worse than the average hitter, this is dramatic improvement. Obviously the projection struggled with figuring out his playing time, you could have told me that before I wrote this article. If Nito gets 240 paw like baseball reference in Zipsies, then something went horribly wrong with the Mets this year. Ultimately, I still believe Mezzarocco on an NRI makes for an interesting spring. If he plays well either Mezzarocco gets released to sign somewhere else, traded, Darnell gets traded or maybe even the Mets try to move Nito, which right now is the least likely option. This entry was posted in main page. Bookmark the permalink.